KS Services is now offering preventative maintenance plans as low as $12 a month. Preventative maintenance is so important when it comes to your HVAC system. Let us come check your system out and perform our 22-point inspection. It's better to be safe than sorry. We have so many plans to choose from and special offers that go along with them. Call today for more information. 205-322-9090. Alabama license number 11120. Very extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Friday the 15th of February. I'm James Spann. Got a few showers possible tonight and then again Sunday, but next week looking very wet with excessive rain and potential for flooding. So let's get in there and talk about it this afternoon. There's the upper air look across the nation. Got a couple of waves up north, one coming through the Great Lakes, one moving into the Pacific Northwest, a zonal flow underneath all of that. And for us, the sky is mostly cloudy, but not much rain around. That was the radar at 237. Really looks like we're seeing a lot of uh, echoes aloft, kind of on the edge of the uh, radar coverage there. But we'll have a better chance of showers tonight with a cold front drifting in here from the north. We are in the 60s. Tuscaloosa 66, Birmingham 62, and there's a well-defined cold front near the Alabama-Tennessee state line. Uh, Nashville behind that front down to 45, St. Louis at 21, and that front will be drifting down into the central and southern part of the state by tomorrow morning, so we'll be a little cooler tomorrow, but nothing like that cold air up north where they are way below freezing, in some cases below zero again today. Winter weather advisories can affect for much of Missouri, parts of northern Arkansas, extreme northwest Tennessee. They've got all kind of winter weather woes in terms of travel around Kansas City and Columbia, Missouri. Maybe some thunder on that front this evening near the Alabama-Tennessee border, but no severe weather. This is the outlook tomorrow. And on day three, which is Sunday, again, there's a chance of a few scattered storms across Alabama, but no severe weather expected. But this is the big story. This is the precipitation for the next seven days. And the bullseye right down here across the southeast United States. Uh, in Alabama, rain amounts between really five and nine inches along and north of Interstate 20. This is going to be a multiple-day excessive rain event with potential for some pretty significant flooding next week and, of course, ultimately longer-term river flooding as well. So let's take a look. Model fans. Here's the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at noon. Big trough in the west. And the surface front will probably drift down to a point near or south of Montgomery. And with that being the case, we think the northern half of the state will be dry tomorrow. Morning clouds giving way to a partly sunny afternoon and the high around 60. Just a little cooler than today. Now Sunday, the front backs up as a warm front goes back the other way. Now, it'll be a cloudy day with a good chance of showers. Might, might not rain all day, but certainly raining at times. Highs in the 60s. Now, Monday, again, the front drifts back down to the south. The front kind of meandering back and forth across the region. And if this verifies, Monday would be generally dry. Maybe some sunshine breaking through Monday afternoon. But enjoy that because, boom, here comes the rain on Tuesday. And it's all there. we got a large-scale trough to the west providing ascent or upward air motion, high precipitable water amounts, and a stalled surface boundary. Just a recipe for a lot of rain here. So let's go to Wednesday. Same deal. Rain much of the day. This is Thursday. Maybe some drier air for the Tennessee Valley. But again, for most of the state, rain continues. And this is a week from today, Friday the 22nd. Same idea. Trough to the west. A southwest flow aloft here. And that still looks wet. So really, Tuesday all the way through Friday of next week looks awfully wet with uh, potential for flooding. If you live in a flood-prone area, be ready now. It's got 10 days, Monday the 25th, same deal, trough in the west, the zone will flow here, and that's a dry air mass. This is the uh, European Ensemble data, just so you can take a peek at that. Uh, you can see uh, this is the average of the, uh, the mean of the ensemble members. And all the models are on board with this. Uh, this is suggesting rain amounts in excess of five inches for the northern part of the state. But no cold air. Now, here are the numbers through early March from the European Ensemble. Highs in the 50s and 60s and lows most mornings in the 40s. No sign of any bitterly cold air anytime soon. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. My next video will be posted here Monday morning at 7 o'clock. And if you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and God bless. 